Hello everyone. Welcome to this spoken tutorial on building the walls of the slurry tank. This is an activity to be done on day 2. In this tutorial, we will learn how to build the walls of the slurry tank. Let's first understand what is a slurry tank. Slurry is the most important byproduct of the fermentation that takes place inside the digester tank. This slurry comes out of the digester tank and is collected in the slurry tank. Let's look at the position of the slurry tank with respect to the biogas plant. The slurry tank is placed in line with the entrance of the dome. So, what is the shape of the tank? These tanks are rectangular in shape. What you see here is the pictorial representation of the slurry tank. The slurry tank is divided into small tank and the upper tank. The small tank is enclosed within the upper tank. Notice the pink colored walls of the smaller tank enclosed inside the blue colored upper tank. Also note the upper tank has an outlet hole. The lower tank is in line with the entrance to the digester tank. So, in total, how many walls have to be built for constructing the slurry tank? Total, 7 walls have to be constructed to build the slurry tank. The various dimensions are shown in the image. Items used for construction are steel rods and chicken mesh. Detailed specifications of these are mentioned in the tutorial on material required. To begin with, insert one of the three steel rods through the holes of the chicken mesh. Insert these steel rods through sufficient number of holes. This will ensure that the rod will not slide while placing it on the cement plaster. Next, lay a plastic sheet on the ground. Use a measuring tape to mark boundary for height, width and breadth. We will spread the cement mixture within this boundary on the plastic sheet. Prepare cement mixture as follows. Sand 150 kgs Cement 50 kgs Liquid waterproofing material 150 ml thoroughly stirred in 20 liters of water and adequate water to mix the cement mixture well. Note that no gravel is used in this mixture. To begin with, first spread 1.5 inches thickness of the cement mixture. Spread it between the boundary of the wall. Now, carefully place the chicken mesh with inserted steel rods on this cement mixture. This chicken mesh with inserted steel rods serve as a support for the cement mixture. Care should be taken to leave an extra 4 to 5 inches of chicken mesh at either sides of each wall. This will be entwined or interlocked with the chicken mesh left at the edges of the dome. Doing this will help fixing the walls of the slurry tank with the dome. In the earlier two images, 
we saw a hole in only one of the walls of the slurry tank. Now, let's talk about the significance of this hole. It is this hole from where the slurry smoothly comes and flows out to the agricultural field. So, how to make this hole in the wall of the slurry tank? To make a hole, use the inlet pipe of 6 inches diameter. Attention should be paid to this particular wall before fitting the pipe on it. To begin with, use a scissor and cut the chicken mesh to make a hole of 6 inches diameter. Then insert the steel rod as explained earlier on either side of the 6 inch diameter hole. Now lay this mesh with the hole on the cement mixture spread on the plastic sheet. The thickness of this cement mixture should be 1.5 inches. Exactly on this hole, place the inlet pipe of 6 inches diameter firmly in an upright position. Before placing it, please remember to flatten the edges of the inlet pipe so that it can stand on its own. Importantly, the pipe should be placed when the cement mixture is still wet. As each step is followed by another in quick succession, the mason should plan well. This will help him not to lose time and the right moment. Now, spread cement mixture around the pipe using the small trowel. This will make the pipe stand firmly. Note that the pipe will be removed when the cement is dry. After the pipe is removed, this is how the hole would look like. The prepared walls are left for drying for two days and will be used on day 4. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Assembly of the walls of the tank will be explained in a later tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt how to build the walls of the slurry tank. This video was created by Spoken Tutorial Project along with inputs from Rural ICT Project, IIT Bombay. More information on these projects can be found at these links. This is Bella Tony along with the animation team of the Spoken Tutorial Project signing off. Thank you for joining.